Good morning from the edge. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about something that I grew up learning about and something that's been near and dear to my heart. Um, and that is the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgeralds. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about due to Gordon Lightfoot's song, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Um, not everyone knows that that is actually based on a true story, every word of it. Um, so, um, on our recent trip back to Michigan, we actually got to go to Whitefish Point, which is where the Shipwreck Museum is um, for the Great Lakes. Uh, and they actually have some of the stuff from the Emma Fitzgerald, so that was really cool. And I will insert video photos into the video right here. So this is the actual bell from the Emma Fitzgerald. The reason I'm filming this video today, it is actually 45 years to the day that the Edmund Fitzgerald sank. It is November 10th, 2020, so therefore the Edmund Fitzgerald sank on November 10th, 1975. It sank off of Whitefish Point uh, in Lake Superior, and it sank and all 29 crew members were lost at, in the wreck. So, it was kind of cool to actually go to um, Whitefish Point. We not only got to see the Shipwreck Museum, but we also got to see uh, the lighthouse. And I will insert photos of that here. After touring the lighthouse, we actually went out to um, the beach at Whitefish Point. Um, there is actually a memorial to the wreck of the Emma Fitzgerald and the 29 mem crew members that were lost uh, on the way to the beach. And then we went out there and um, sat on the beach and kind of just reflected on it. And it's a really cool beach actually. And we will insert pictures of it here.
overall, this is going to be a fairly short video. I don't want to do a whole bunch of talking. Um, the story spe speaks for itself. Um, if uh, you are not familiar with the story, I uh, will link below the um, song from Gordon Lightfoot, The Wreck of the Evan Fitzgerald. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, bye!